Hello guys, in this video I will talk about reduced rotational form. Definition A matrix is in reduced rotational form if it satisfies the following conditions. A matrix is in rotational form. The leading entry or leading coefficient in each non-zero row is a 1. It's also called a leading 1. Each column containing a leading one has zeros everywhere else. Example, suppose that we have three matrices A, B, and C. Which matrix is in reduced row echelon form? Let's look at the first one. This matrix is in row echelon form because in each row, the number of zeros is strictly increasing. Then the first condition is true. The first coefficients in each row are 1's. Second condition is also true. Each column containing a leading 1 has zeros everywhere. Then the third condition is also true. Then the matrix of A will be in reduced row echelon form. Let's look at the second one. This matrix is also in row echelon form because in each row the number of zeros is strictly increasing. Then the first condition is true. Leading coefficients are ones. Finally, we consider columns containing a leading one. In the second column, there is non zero element except a leading one. Because of this, this matrix is not in reduced row echelon form. Let's look at the matrix of C. This matrix is also in row echelon form, but the leading coefficients are 1, 1, and 2. Second condition doesn't work here. Therefore, this matrix is not in reduced row echelon form. We have the most important remark. A reduced row echelon form of a matrix is unique. That's all. Suppose that we have n times p size matrix and to find the reduced row echelon form of this matrix, we will use the following steps. First, we transform a matrix of A to its row echelon form using Gauss algorithm. Then we identify the first non-zero coefficient alpha of each non-zero line Li and apply this elementary operation. Finally, we eliminate the coefficients above each pivot as previously starting from the bottom. Example, transform a matrix of A to its reduced row echelon form. We know the row echelon form of this matrix from the previous lecture. The row echelon form of this matrix was this one. One, two, three, four, zero, two, four, six, zero, 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 minus two. Step one All leading coefficients will be one. Because of this, we use these elementary operations. Instead of L2, we write L2 times 1 over 2, and instead of L3, we write L3 times minus 1 over 2. From here, our new matrix will be this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 0, 0, 1. 
step 2 each column containing a leading one must have zeros everywhere except one in our example these columns are this first one second one and last one first we cancel four and three at the last column because of this we use these elementary operations instead of l2 we write l2 minus 3 l3 and instead of l1 we write l1 minus 4 l3 then our matrix will be this 1 2 3 0 0 1 2 0 0 0 0 1 this then in the second column we cancel two. Therefore we use this elementary operation. Instead of L1, we write L1 minus 2 L2. From here the result will be this 1 0 3 0 0 1 2 0 0 0 0 1. As you see, this matrix satisfies the conditions of reduced row echelon form. Bond zero three zero zero one two zero 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 one. This matrix will be reduced row echelon form of A. That's all. Theorem. N n times n square matrix A is invertible if and only if its reduced row echelon form is identity matrix. Example. We have the matrix of A show that this matrix is invertible. Let's suppose that we know the row echelon form of this matrix. The row echelon form of this matrix is the matrix of 1, 2, 3, 0, 2, minus 3, 0, 0, 6. Step 1. First coefficients of rows are 1, 2, and 6. Because of this, we use these elementary operations. Instead of Second row, we write second row times 1 over 2. Instead of third row, third row times 1 over 6. Then the result will be this matrix. 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, minus 3 over 2, 0, 0, and 1. We move to step 2. First, we cancel 3 and minus 3 over 2 in the third column. Because of this, we use these elementary operations. Instead of L2, we write L2 plus 3 over 2 L3. Instead of L1, we write L1 minus 3L3. From here, the result is 1, 2, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Then we cancel 2 in the second column. Therefore, we use this elementary operation. Instead of L1, we write L1 minus 2 L2. From here, our matrix will be the matrix of 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, which is identity matrix.
as you see, the reduced row echelon form of the matrix of A will be this matrix. Then, according to this theorem, the matrix of A will be invertible. A is invertible. That's all. See you guys next lesson.